What is up guys, welcome to a brand new Project 06 video and today we're going to be trying to practice some shadow speedrunning. We're going to go diving right into some White Acropolis. I have not done a shadow speedrun in quite some time, so I'm going to see if I'm kind of rusty or not. Pretty sure I am, but go ahead, sit back, relax, grab a cup of joe, and enjoy some Project 06 gameplay. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing throughout this video is I'm going to be also explaining the speedrun as well as trying to keep up with the lore, if I'm correct at least. I'm not too familiar with the 06 lore, but I'll try to get my best representation possible. So essentially, what we have going on is we have Shadow infiltrating the base to rescue Agent Rouge, who we are right now. So pretty much what we'll be doing as Rouge is trying to meet up with Shadow. We're going to jump up here, and we are able to kind of fly all the way towards the end over here, which is kind of nice. Uh, pretty much we're going to go over here. We have a little cutscene, however I have a setting that turns it off because that's just the person I am. <laughs> Why well, have a cutscene in speedrun, you know what I mean? And there we go, there is Shadow. So what we're going to have to do now is kind of defeat these searchlights. And in order to defeat these searchlights, we need to jump up top, homing attack them, or we can also do a uh, chaos spear, like so. Did I hit it? Nice. Okay. Usually it takes a little less time, but I'm a little rusty. <laughs> so I do apologize. Alright, so what we're going to do now is hop down here. You see we hit this jump. And we almost did. <laughs> we're going to do a couple Chaos Spears to get up. And this should be it. This is the last tower we have to defeat. And we have beaten White Acropolis. We're about a second behind, but that's okay. We can go ahead and try to beat Kingdom Valley a little bit faster. Fingers crossed in the end. If you guys are enjoying this video and enjoy any Project 06 speedrunning, be sure to subscribe and also leave a comment and a like. It really helps me out. We're actually really close to hitting 100 subscribers and that is literally crazy. So I really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for kind of supporting me and uh, kind of letting me try this whole YouTube thing out. I think it's pretty fun and yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and continue. So basically, from what I remember, Shadow and Rouge are trying to intercept the Scepter of Darkness located inside Kingdom Valley. And while they're here, they run into Mephilus towards the end of the stage. Or end of the... after you beat the stage, they run into him. <laughs> Pretty much, that's about it. So we're gonna run over here and we have the Adventure Searching. And we sadly have the absolute worst key to get. It's going to be up here, not going to lie, worst set in the game. We have to hit all these guys. There we go. Grab that, then we can run over here. I'm guessing our next key is going to be up top or in this little barrier. And it's in this barrier, unfortunately, so that sucks. We have a pretty bad set, not going to lie. Hit these two, and then we can grab this key and we'll be on our way. Not gonna lie, it is a little unnerving that we don't have any rings. <laughs> I will be honest. I would rather us have some rings or to get across. All right. I'm thinking our key is gonna be up here, which it is. And just like that, we have beaten this section as Rouge. And now, that was a really bad key set. I'm not gonna lie, that did set us back some time. But we're gonna go ahead and play this section as Shadow. And we're going to be trying to run around on this hovercraft as fast as we can. It's not the greatest mode of transportation in the game, I'm going to be honest. Um, I really don't like any of Shadow's vehicles. That's just me. I mean, sure, there's got to be that one person out there that's a hovercraft enjoyer of some sort. Definitely not moi. <laughs> we're going to go ahead, homing attack this spring, which allows us to get up here. And allows us to touch this eagle. Once we got on this eagle, we can go ahead and head over to the third and final section of Shadow's Kingdom Valley. So here we go. We're going to be jumping on these and attacking some of these drones and some of these robots. Attacking these drones. We're going to hop on over here. We're going to do a little bit of a dash to kind of get over to the spring. And we're going to be trying to cut off this little section right here by jumping at just the right time in order to get Shadow across, just like that. Alright, there we have it. And we're going to jump up here, homing attack this, and we should be all good. 
Oh man, that sucks. Not gonna lie, those always suck when you get hit by them. It's always like a run killer. Not really a run killer, but a pace killer, I'd say. We're gonna jump up here, homing attack this, homing attack that, and that is it. So pretty much we only have a couple more sections left. We're gonna be using the Shadow Spin Kick, which is brought to you inside the Silver Release. This is the Spin Kick. It allows you to conserve all your momentum as Shadow, which is probably the best part of it, in all honesty. You're going this way around, around town, kind of. That way we don't have to defeat those enemies. It saves a little bit of time. Doing the same thing by going around as well. Again, hitting this to fly all the way around. And we're going to be defeating out just a couple more of these Eggman robots. And that is going to be it. We're going to use the Chaos Spear to kind of eliminate most of them. And just like that, we have beaten Kingdom Valley as shadow unfortunately that key section with rouge did cut us 11 seconds so it does suck i'm not gonna lie however we have a couple more stages that would kind of balance that out we got crisis city up next so pretty much shadow rouge sonic knuckles tails are all set in the future and they're trying to get a couple chaos emeralds and able to get back home while they're on their journey, they manage to find one Chaos Emerald inside of Crisis City, and they find the next one in Flame Core after battling Iblis. Well, technically they find it before battling Iblis, but it was like a trap or something. I don't know. <laughs> it was weird. But, anyways, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna run around, and we should be able to beat this stage hopefully fast. Shadow's Crisis City is the longest of everyone's. We have about four different sections. We have this section right here, which is Sonic's snowboarding section. And then we have a normal section for section two. And then we have a, ha a hovercraft, hang glider section, whatever you want to call it, with Shadow. And then we're wrapping it all up with a whopping section four. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how it all works. I wish, I really wish that Shadow had a little bit of a quicker section, but honestly, this is kind of the bulk of uh, the stages. Uh, this is probably going to be the most of it. It's kind of freaky, not going to lie. What we're going to do here is just it's homing attack these guys to get across. And we unfortunately did not make it through that rainbow ring. But that should be A-OK -okay because we're going to land on this rail and just go across and go on our merry way. We're going to be hitting this little checkpoint, doing a little maneuver called the... Uh... Oh my god, I forgot the maneuver. Uh, cage dashing. We'll be doing this. Oh, we're an idiot. That is quite unfortunate. So that we, that means we lost a little bit of time. <laughs> I should have learned. I, I remember now. This is not the uh, the correct way anymore. What we need to do is essentially go this way. Sorry, I need to use you, man. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. That's not nice. We'll be doing this to get up there, and that's what we need to be doing. So I need to keep that in mind. Like I said before, this is definitely a practice video. Um, still trying to get in the run of trying to play as Shadow again. It's kind of fun, not gonna lie. Um, I would highly suggest giving Project 06 a look in case you guys haven't already. Honestly, super, super fun. It's a great time if you guys haven't tried it. Uh, we aren't gonna be showing off any of Shadow's Chaos abilities probably until we reach uh, actually, the next stage of uh, Flame Core, we actually get a little bit of action playing as Shadow. So that should be pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to hit this spring just for good luck. Mostly because I need those rings so we make it across in one piece. And there we have it. Easy peasy right there. And that is the second section of Crisis City finished. Kind of hoping we finish this a little bit faster. Sadly, that death did set us back quite a bit. Alright, what we're going to do is kind of fly above everything. Basically, as long as you stay inside the tornado, you're fine. Just one, two, three, and you can boost. And you just wait. You go one, two, and three, and boost. And just like that, you're pretty much set. It's kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. And that is it for that section. So now this section, we're going to be doing a little bit of traversing through this stage. It's going to be a little weird, a little different even. But it should be fine. Let's not hit that guy. <laughs> I was not trying to hit any of these enemies, mostly because, like, there's no point in hitting them. They're all gonna end up giving me the same idea. 
will be going through here. Hit this guy, which allows us to hit this spring, which allows us to hit this guy, hit this spring, and fly all the way around in order to homing attack through that gate onto the grind rail. Kind of sick. And we're going to be trying to kind of maneuver through this grinding section a little differently than usual, just so that way we can kind of save a little bit of time. As you can see, our timer is dwindling ever so slightly down, but we are coming up to the end of this section pretty soon. All we have to do now is go over here, hop on the right, and hop over to the left, like so. So we're going to do this, we do a spin dash, and there we go. Easy. You could probably do that marginally a lot quicker, <laughs> in all honesty. And there we go. That is the end of the stage. Sadly, at the four minute mark, definitely could have been a lot faster. As you can see, we did lose 33 seconds. 22.2 on the dot. So yeah, that was about four minutes. Definitely could have been a lot faster. I'm going to be completely honest. I kind of choked that one part, but that's completely fine. So next up on our list, and this is probably be my favorite stage to show off in this speedrun. It's going to be Flame Core. Flame Core is the most battle heavy stage for Shadow. We get to use each and every one of his chaos abilities except the level 3 chaos blast. However, we are going to be using Chaos Blast in one stage and one stage only, and that should be, I believe, Aquatic Base. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Cage Dash to get up here. Easy peasy. We're going to hit this uh, little gem capsule, so that way we're able to kind of run through this as fast as we can. Let's hit this guy. And we're just going to hold this controller in a certain way, in a certain manner even. There we go. So pretty much what we're going to be doing now is kind of flying around. <laughs> there we go. Easy peasy. And we're going to go ahead and pop a level 2. So that way once we get across over here, we can easily pop a level 3. Alright, there we go. Let's... Okay, I guess we're not going up. <laughs> There we go. Alright, there we go. I want to pop a level 3 so that we're able to use the invincibility that it gives us. Sadly, it's definitely not a great room. Definitely could have been a little better, not gonna lie. But we are all good. We're gonna grab a ring just in case. And we're just gonna kind of fly through this now. So essentially, all we need to do is not go that way, that's for sure. There we go. We're gonna hit this guy just for just for some fun. That way once we get onto this ramp, if we were to die out, it'll be a-okay. And we are all good. Now that we'll, we did that, uh, we can kind of go this way. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're gonna fly on down this road and hit this guy. Literally one-shotting him. It's kind of nice. And we're going to fly over here. We don't really have that much lore for this stage. It's mostly just they're getting the Chaos Emerald. Uh, this is for Iblis Phase 2. If you're unaware what Iblis Phase 2 is, it's kind of like he's a worm. It's kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure like uh, Silver beat his ass and he needed to reform. And he reformed into a worm. So... If your girlfriend got turned into a worm, she might be a bliss. I'm so sorry to let you guys know that, but she might be a bliss now. All right, what we're going to do is fly this way. It's a little risky because these guys can fire fireballs at us. So what we're going to do to circumvent that is grab that ring capsule. Actually, I didn't realize the ring capsule was up there. I thought the warp was up there. <laughs> Rude, she saved me. All right. Now what we're going to do is do this, or not. What we're going to do is go back around, do a cage dash. There we go. Sadly, sadly, we did lose even more time. Quite unfortunate, not going to lie. But 
if you guys really want to check out some really crazy speedrunning, I highly suggest checking out the Project 06 speedrunning website. It's on speedrun or speedrun.com, I believe. If you look at that, you can see Perfect. crazy, crazy times for these. I believe the record for Shadow is about 22, 23 minutes right now. It's kind of exciting. I highly would suggest giving that a look in case you guys are interested in that kind of thing. So this little speedrun oh, for Radical Train is a little interesting. Uh, people have beaten it relatively quickly by doing a couple of exploits by going around. Uh, I, as you can see, I have not done that before. <laughs> I'm not familiar. And once I figure that out, though, I think we'll be good. But for the time being, we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> hey, once I figure... Oh, man. I hope we get the boost on the second one. We didn't get the boost. So that's a little unfortunate. Usually, uh, sometimes you get a boost. <laughs> What we can do, however, is bonk on this guy. Or not. Maybe we can't bonk on that guy at all. So essentially what I've seen people do, uh, mostly Stelmo. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Shout out Stelmo if you guys haven't seen him already. He's a really cool speedrunner and YouTuber. Uh, let's go over here now. So pretty much what I was trying to do is I was trying to do a, uh, a little little thing I probably can do it up here okay we just got shot so we're just gonna stop dilly dallying I guess we're just gonna straight out <laughs> go over here that's my bad guys for wasting your guys this precious time I do apologize but I really want to see if we can hit that well apparently not so what we're gonna be doing is kind of doing this regular way then from now on we're going to be jumping up here and going this little tiny route. We're going to hit triangle to use our Y, I should be saying. Still not used to using the Xbox controller. We're going to be using a spin kick to kind of get across. We're going to grab that in order to get across. Okay. Kind of crazy. Okay, nice. And basically what I did right there is I kind of kind of bypass that section usually what we do is attack the train with shadow but we didn't we did it a really cool and awesome route honestly you probably should have uh not grabbed this first bike there's a second bike down here i believe it's faster if you just go into level one and then use the second bike because we have a reload and when you have level one you're able to kind of blast through it all it's kind of nice, not gonna lie. Pretty sweet. Like so. See? Like, we would have beaten this guy a little sooner if we had a little bit more ammo. Yeah, about 50 more bullets. But anyways, that is the end of this stage. Unfortunately, we are a minute and 39 behind. If I didn't dilly-dally, maybe it would have been a little bit better, but, you know, it is what it is. Next up, we got Aquatic Base, and Aquatic Base is gonna be the first... In f or actually one of the final stages that we get to utilize any of the chaos boost abilities um, pretty much what we're going to be doing is running around like crazy as we usually do and one two or not <laughs> all right cool so what we're going to do is attack these guys like so and that way we have a little bit of some shards left That was a little sloppy. I'm not exactly sure if there's a crazy fast way to do this section, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, let's see, we should be able to just fly this way. Pretty much we fly over to these little balls of some sort. We hit all these guys as fast as we can. And then we dodge these guys and hit them with those. Someone's still alive. I don't know, sometimes little guys like those like to stay alive, it's, it kinda sucks. Well, it is what it is, because we just kind of fly over to this little switch, and that is it. 
essentially what we're going to be doing is not using any of his psychic abilities in order to kind of jump across and conserve a little bit of meter. That's kind of the name of the game, conserve the meter. Conserve the meter of the hedgehog, that's the goal of it at least. And what we're going to be doing is hopping over here, hitting this box to give us a little memory shard box. Memory shard, just please chaos drive. Basically, we chaos blast to kind of literally blast away everyone. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Alright, we're gonna kind of homing attack our way through, and that is it for this first section. We're gonna be trying to conserve a little bit of our meter. That's kind of the name of the game right now. Conserve the meter as much as we can. We have a couple of enemies up here that will give us a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that'll be enough. That's pretty much what we're kind of trying to do, is... Trying to uh, preserve it just a little bit. And we're gonna activate the, our little uninhibited mode. And then we're gonna attack these little worms, like so. We're gonna attack this guy. We're gonna stand on this worm. And we're gonna attack these guys. And we're gonna attack this guy in particular. Attack there, there. And that is it for this stage. Kinda cool, not gonna lie. I really need to practice these stages more, because I feel like if I'm trying to do more shadow speedruns, I feel like we'd probably do a lot better. Um, I mean, if we didn't fumble Radical Train like 50 times, that would've been nice. Aquatic Base, apparently my time's at 2.30. Don't know how we saved time there. Probably in that beginning section. But here is Wave Ocean. Wave Ocean is the final stage that has a hang glider. Thank the Lord. So this is going to be the final stage that we have the hang glider, and the final stage that we... Oh no, this is the first stage we have to play as Omega. Take that back, we got Dusty Desert after this. Dusty Desert is a pretty fun stage to speedrun, especially using Omega's skills. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie though, I'm really rusty, uh, pretty much. The reason being is I've been playing a lot of the Silver Story, and right now I have, I think I'm 5th right now on the leaderboard for the speed run for the silver any percent. I think my time is like 1830 something. So it's not too shabby, I'm not gonna lie. So here we go, we have Omega. What we're gonna do is ignore these guys and we actually do a slope jump off this rock, which allows us to go a little bit faster, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it takes some time. These jumps are kinda lame. But, I mean, what are you going to do? You're Omega. <laughs> we're going to grind all the way over here. We're going to fly off as fast as we can. Hey, really? This is all we can do. <laughs> kind of sucks, but that's about it. I think there's a spring here. There we go. And we're just going to kind of levitate all the way over. And there it is. We have a little Mephilus cutscene. There he is, lo and behold. Pretty cool. And... He busts out the Gat. <laughs> the Gatling gun, at least. And now what we're going to be doing is kind of speedrunning. This stage is interesting because we do have a little bit of platforming to do in the second part of this little section. And once we do that, we should be home free. So we're going to just kind of run as fast as we can all the way down to this little area. We're going to hit that checkpoint because I'm not going through this if we die. <laughs> always hit those checkpoints, kids. It's always worth it in the end. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we have a few enemies we need to beat up, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just straight up use our final cage dash of the game to go over here. What? I, I hit the, I hit A. But anyways, that is exactly why I say get to this checkpoint, because if we are to save any time, we need to get that checkpoint. <laughs> Alright, like I was saying before, we're going to do this, fly across. And we'll just land on this one, I guess. I guess this is the way to go. Uh, we're gonna go this way, I guess. I wanted to go the other way, but they weren't having it today. The 06 gods, they said, nah. <laughs> Not on my watch. So we're gonna go this way. Go the normal way, I suppose. It's fine. We should be good, though.
Yeah. Um, oh, I completely forgot about lore. So pretty much, uh, they're trying to find Mephilist, and they found Mephilist, but then Omega got into an argument with Mephilist, a pretty heated argument. It involved a lot of guns. It kind of sucked. Yeah, we're doing pretty sloppy on this speedrun. I'm going to be completely honest. This is quite unfortunate, but, um... Yeah, <laughs> if you guys are rocking with this video, despite this crazy time loss, I highly suggest checking out some of my Silver Project 06 videos. Those ones are actual speedruns. <laughs> I actually participated in the very first Silver uh, release attorney for Project 06 with a lot of awesome people. And it was quite the ride, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fun seeing everyone come out and support everyone. We're gonna, uh, hopefully have another one soon i'm not really in charge of that but i really hope that whoever set it up i believe it is the Caesar team i really hope they end up doing another one pretty soon because it was quite the time all right so now what we're gonna do is hit these guys we're gonna hit these guys now and that should be about it okay that's not good I really didn't want to attack those guys, but a lot of the enemies inside of Shadow's story are just straight up, like, heavy hitters. Like, they're beefy as hell. Let's avoid those guys. All we have to do is kill these little guys. Fly up. And we're going to be shooting these little switches. There we go. Pretty much we activate that switch. We don't have to do it later, so that saves a bunch of time. Alright, he's peasy. I'm gonna hit this. In order to get up here, we have a couple of enemies. We're we'll hitting them like so. And there we go. Elimination complete. Thank you, Omega. So now what we're gonna do is kind of jump up to here. In order to jump up to here, and we hit this switch and we fall on down. We're gonna eliminate that guy for shits and giggles, pretty much. We're trying not to trying to take damage <laughs> so much for that and we have one little section over here which honestly it sucks sometimes because you can take damage like this but honestly if you take damage it's, it might be for the best because you can honestly fall pretty far <laughs> now what we're gonna do is gun all of these guys down I like to start with these purple worms and then the red worms will kind of jump at you regardless and just like that we have completed this room pretty easy we don't have an audio cue by Omega I thought we did but maybe I'm really thinking of something else and just like that we have completed this section as Omega and that's the last time we get to see Omega during the whole speed run so everyone say goodbye Omega and we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this stage with our boy shadow oh there we go somehow got that nice Okay, maybe we have a little bit of stage left to shadow. Kind of forgot about this part. <laughs> See, this is why I haven't played it in so long. Like, I completely forgot everything about it. After this, we get to play one final stage, and it's kind of like an extra stage. We get to play Tropical Jungle as Rouge the Bat. Should be pretty cool. I wish there was a way. There's probably a way to cancel the combo. Oh my god. We saved it, guys. And there we go. Somehow that's a PB. Don't know how. We got the rainbow split. So is that actually a PB? It's not a PB, but we got the rainbow split. So that means if I were to attempt this, then it would have been really good. <laughs> that's kind of nuts, though. So we got one stage left, and that is Tropical Jungle. We actually saved two seconds comparing that from Wave Ocean. So, you know what? That's fine. So, what we're going to be doing is kind of collecting three keys. This is the final part of our stage as Rouge in our game. So, we're going to be trying to find these three keys. I like to start this way because sometimes there's a key up there. Unfortunately, our radar, or actually, fortunately, our radar is not going off. So, that means we can just glide all the way around and hope and pray that we find the next set of keys. Uh, there might be a key up on this tower on our left. But there might be one down here as well. Completely forgot. Yep, right in this box is one key. 
Easy peasy, just like that. I'm gonna fly onto this, so that we kind of get a little bit higher. I'm gonna be kind of scouting for that final key. It looks like it might be this way. Yep, our last key is gonna be up here and down in this box, and that is it. So now all we need to do is fly to the goal ring, attack some enemies, and open another box. That's pretty much it. Oh man. Nice. Kind of unfortunate that we didn't really beat this whole entire speedrun as fast as I wish we did. But anyways, that is the Project 06 Shadow speedrun. As you can see, we kind of did poorly, but as I said before in this video, this was kind of like a practice, trying to dip our toes back into the shadow scene. Anyways, if you guys like these Project 06 videos, be sure to leave a like and a comment, and be sure to subscribe for more Sonic content. My name is Lex, otherwise known as I Think It's Vex, and I'll see you all in the next Sonic video. Peace out.